Have a look at this 2006 S6 V10. It's finished in a beautiful nautical blue color with unmarked Audi rims, four very good Pirelli tires, and it's an absolute wolf in sheep's clothing. This is the definition of a sleeper car. It doesn't attract any attention. People don't know what's underneath the hood. And, you know, police don't harass you, even though you have an absolute bona fide performance car. It has Lamborghini derived V10. Quad exhausts, and it sounds just superb. The only indicators to let you know what it are is rather the little subtle V10 emblems there. Some S6 logos embossed in the sports buckets. The quad exhausts. And the little S6 badge there. Otherwise, there's nothing to say that it doesn't look exactly like a stock A6 like this. They look exactly the same, which is part of the beauty of this car, is its subtlety. Tinted windows all around, sunroof, again the sports buckets. You've got carbon fibre trim on the doors and console. Stepping in. You're greeted with S6 logo gauges. Under 90,000 kilometres, which is nothing on a 10 cylinder engine. Bose stereo. I will fire it up now, which is uh, what everyone wants to hear. So you can hear it. It sounds absolutely superb. You've got other options here, the Audi MMI interface. So you've got navigation, information, you can change the dynamics of the car, you can put it in different modes. I mean, it would take me all day to scroll through all the options. You also have touch, stop, start. Dual zone climate control. The sports buckets are very supportive and they've got so many different way adjustable power. Seats I have thigh support, lumbar support. Uh, we've got the six speed automatic here. It is sport shiftable and you can also shift with paddle shifters. So basically, if you put it down into sport, you can shift from the steering wheel up and down. You can hold your gears longer if you need to absolutely kill somebody at a stop sign. <laughs> Race, that is. <laughs> Although you could easily fit a body in the boot. <laughs> Just joking. It's actually a very practical family car as well room for the whole family, just as much safety and practicality as the standard Audi A6, uh, but with an engine that would uh, happily be in a rocket ship. You've, seen, you've got even got little niceties like rear blinds here, more subtle S6 logos on the doors, and again that huge boot. I don't think this will give you any sort of depth perception, but uh, it is cavernous. There's no way I could reach the back. Under here, we have a full-size spare wheel, which is what we love to see on performance cars. Often they'll have run flats, and they're a bit of a nightmare. Significantly on BMW, you find run flats. We've even got the original warning triangle, which tells me the rear of the car has not been compromised. It's got great service history. The paintwork is, well, for a car that's done just under 90,000 kilometers, it looks excellent. The chrome finish is in great order. Chrome mirrors are a nice little touch. They go so well with the blue. 
and again the V10 under the hood. For what was a car that cost well over $200,000 and you can now pick up for absolutely nothing under 50, uh, it's a lot of value for money for me. The car's taken its depreciation hit. So that was the previous owner's loss and your gain. We're the Old Timer Center. You'll find us on www.old.com.au with all our contact details. We specialize in European prestige. We do 70 cars. We always have about 70 cars in stock. And we look forward